this is day two of Edie's uh, board and train program. Uh, today we're going to uh, begin with our, uh, our walk, which is the follow command, and it is an informal leash walking command. And that means that Edie can walk in front, behind, or to either side, just so there's no tension on the leash and she turns when I turn. Later on coming up, we're going to be doing the uh, come command starting that out and also the place command which is a boundary training command place is basically go to this object the object defines the boundary and don't leave the object until either another command uh, is given usually a release command a sit a down whatever that may be if you're choosing so off we go here with our follow command Working on turns. This is the first session teaching the come command. Edie is in a sit, hand signal to wait because I need to create distance for the recall. Note how she is anticipating a recall and gets up from her sit. The problem more likely is not anticipation, but duration of her wait command. Note I resit her and then give the hand signal for the recall, along with leash guidance, along with the tap of her e-collar, my nonverbal language also. So she has four pieces of communication to help her understand what I'm asking. I also touch her once. She reaches me to let her know how she completed the command successfully. And I signed a thumbs up, her yes command for marker training and a treat following. I also waited about five seconds to let the exercise sink in before moving to a new location to repeat the exercise. The three pillars of training are distance, duration, and distractions, which will be extended during her board and train program. I'm trying to create distance. And this is usually the end result where the dog follows you around and you can't create distance. So we're going to work on the, uh, the place command. That will allow me to create distance to have her come off of the place board and we'll be able to do place and recall. command you start out getting the dog familiar with the board just as an object before actually starting the command. She's not real keen on having her body touched, her face touched. Uh, just getting her used to my hands, that hands are a good thing. Starting the place command. It is normal for all dogs to walk around the board when beginning training. They tend to avoid stepping on the board. I'm using luring, marker training, her e-collar, hand signals, and leash guidance. As you can see, I give Edie many sources of communication so she can understand the command I'm asking her to complete. It does not matter whether she sits, stands, on the board just so all four feet are on the board. Yeah. 
here, Edie is on her board. Note the duration. Note, when I call her to come, she's walking toward me and I'm not using any leash guidance. This tells me she understands the hand signals and the tap of the collar.